Hey, so here we are for a midweek check-in on the work I assigned on Monday. Um, just to give you a quick review, this was a packet sent out by our school district uh, that people could pick up where the food was being passed out um, the week of spring break. And on Monday, I asked you guys to take a look at pages three and four, which goes back to our work on exponent rules that we did the week before. I'm just going to do a few problems with you on this page and then look back on Friday where I will post a picture of the page with all the answers so you can check yourselves. So when I look at these first three problems, which are the three we're going to do today, they're all slightly different. These two have the same base and the same exponent. This is 6 to the 4th times 6 to the 4th. Here we have a negative 5 to the 5th inside parentheses being raised to another power. And here we have a fraction, 2 to the 9th divided by 2 to the 5th. So we're going to do these three problems together, and I hope you have these notes. When I look at what we have here, a power to a power is like this one here, because we have this negative 5 to the 5th raised to a power. And what we do with a power to the power is we multiply we multiply the exponent. So this is going to become negative fifth raised to the tenth power. I wish we had done would be out this long. I would have checked out graphing calculators to all of you. So I have negative fifth and I'm going to raise that to the tenth power or with a graphing calculator I can do negative fifth and by the way, there is a great graphing calculator at Desmos. Um, I can leave a link on Google Classroom. And I'm going to raise this to an exponent of 10. And it gives me a really big number. If we were really in class, I would just say that that's what I would expect to see. But if you want to know what the actual number is, But let's not worry about things like this. What we really want to do is simplify what the exponent would look like. So let's look here. We have 6 to the 4th times 6 to the 4th. Remember, if I have um, the same base and there's no parentheses where I'm raising a power to a power, I'm going to add these exponents. So this would get rewritten as 6 to the 8th power. And let's just keep it simple and leave it right there. Knowing you guys don't have access to a graphing calculator, I think that that's sufficient. Um, I will um, put these as simplified with the rules in our answers and not worry too much about actually multiplying them all the way out. Mathematicians don't multiply these out to giant numbers usually. They just worry about the, the rules. Now, when I have, there's no negative exponent here. And to be honest, I don't think that this was in our exponent rule booklet. But when I have a denominator, I want to get it to not be there anymore. These have the same base, and what I end up doing is I end up subtracting. So this would be rewritten as 2 to the 9th minus 5. Sorry, I put that minus a little low. Because these have the same base, I'm going to take this exponent and I'm going to subtract it from this one. It's similar to what we looked at here, where we cross the line and change the sign. Whenever we have a fraction, that's going to be true. So because this was a positive, when I bring it to the top, it's going to change its sign to a negative. This would end up being 2 to the fourth power. So they get a little bit more complex as things go along. I just want to remind you with this one here, anytime we don't see an exponent, there is an exponent of 1. So try these out and um, let's check back in on Friday. If you guys have questions, send me an email or put a note in Google Classroom. They always pop into my email. And I will go back to where I assigned this to our um, <clears throat> posting on Monday and I will put a link to the, the um, graphing calculator at Desmos. Okay, miss seeing your faces and I hope you guys are all well.